So, um, the run for the title. Here it is. Jack Carlin, Siesto's Stefan Bottiger of uh, Germany. Wakimoto, who dominated the field in his semi-final to, uh, to go through very strongly. He'll be in the red of Japan. Sergei uh, Pona Moroyov of Kazakhstan also here. He was in that early move by Wakimoto. We've got A. Wang of Malaysia and Livraisen as well. Why don't they just pick up cards? I used to like the cards. <laughs> Why does it always have to be a laptop? Technology, tablet? yeah, and it's, it's who's got gloves so that can work on the top screen as well. Yeah, that's true. <clears throat> anyway, you can pick a card up with a glove. You can. So, here is Kazakhstan's Sergei Pona Moryov. There is Wakamoto. It looks like he's going to go and do a uh, one-lap circulation. In fact, uh, they all are not quite ready. Only four on their marks. And we're still waiting for Jack Carlin to come to the track. So they sent them round again. Yep, so a little bit of wait, but not too much delay. Um, here is the man that I think a lot of people will be really interested in watching him race. Paul Wang here for Malaysia. I, when, when he became world champion, even those who'd lost to him were so pleased for him. Yes. It was just outstanding, wasn't it? Yeah, and that's a real testament, I think, to a rider that has has rivals that are also his friends. Yes. And, you know, he's someone that has been competing for many years, always been there or thereabouts, but his, that was his first world title. It was Hong Kong 2017, and everyone was just genuinely delighted for him. And I think that's really nice to see in, in the world of elite sport, to see you know, y y your rival celebrating you, basically. Well, he'd come back, we remind you, from having his calf speared um, on the track in Manchester by uh, the biggest splinter I've seen go through <laughs> any human being. It was hanging there, um, removed in Manchester. <clears throat> and uh, indeed, um, he came back not only to full recovery, but went on to, of course, as uh, Joe said, win the world title in Hong Kong. Let's see how it goes here. <laughs> It'd be amazing if he doubles up. <laughs> will be a couple of years later, uh, three. Um, so they're back and rolling. It seems that I'm, I'm not sure whether it was a technical issue that held them up. This is Nita cooling down, by the way. Um, I'm not sure whether it's a technical issue for any of the riders out there, but Jack Carlin not seen on the track. Everyone else was. So we wait. Oh, relegation. Oh, I think that's unfortunate. Let's have a look. Now, watch the fold over arm. Watch Bookley here. Now, it's because Nita's coming down the track. Here's your fold over. I can see why. It, it, he changed position, and essentially, Bookley was, I think, steadying himself rather than anything else. I don't think Bookley deviated from his, from his line he at didn't, all there. No. No, exactly. Oh, it's a shame. But uh, it is, as we say, only for minor positions. But Nita won't be happy about that either and doesn't want the cameras around him, you can understand. No, yes, uh, the cameras do get you at your worst moments, unfortunately. Um, again, part of being an athlete, and here we've got Matthias Bukli as well, who just crashed, who was the victim of that. But as we said, um, <coughs> that race was for position only. The man sitting behind Bukli, who took the tumble, indeed, uh, Jeffrey Hoonan, finishing seventh in this competition. So now we've got a, uh, a rainbow jersey up for grabs, a gold medal, of course, a chance to be world champion. And after the stalled start, not quite sure, I can only think it must have been a technical issue because GB team are rather well drilled and then not usually late to their marks. Everyone else has uh, gone round. Hello. We've got duct, we've got duct tape because the zip failed. Ah, that <laughs> well, is... There we are. <laughs> That's Not what you want for a bike race. What it was. Stefan Bottiger. No spare skin suit that fitted, so they put some duct tape straight down his back. He's got a black stripe. I wonder if they'll adopt it if he wins. Well, we were wondering what the technical issue was, and it turned out the delay was caused by Stefan Bottiger. Looking at him right now, and he has uh, Schwarzen tape all the way down his back because his, his zip bust 
and he didn't want to change suits or maybe they didn't have a spare one and so they put a dirty great piece of black duct tape down his back Pona Marioff of Kazakhstan carrying the hopes of the Netherlands after one tumbled and the other finished seventh is Le Harry Leraison here is Jack Carlin I thought it was Jack that was late but it wasn't it was uh, Stefan Bossiger Meanwhile, here is Yuta Wakimoto, Kieran specialist, didn't do any of the World Cups, but is here to do some damage and snatch the world title. And here is Awang. Well, it says, don't look at me, look up there. Well, we'll be looking at him, and so will everybody else, potentially. Let's wait and see. Peter Berline brings around the Canary Derny. Here it is. And we are ready. Kieran final here at the World Championships in Berlin. And time to get out of the saddle. And it's A Wang, former world champion, who just sits on the back wheel of Peter Line's journey for now. Everyone else just talking to themselves. Jack Carlin muttering some kind of oath. And there he is. Looks like he's chewing gum. How cool is that? Probably dangerous kids. Don't do that if he is he's still muttering and the big black stripe lucky stripe maybe for uh, Stefan Bosiger at the back after a zip failure held us up um, it's impossible to call this yes it is so we've got um, Stefan Bosiger got the bronze medal last year so he's the only rider in this field that was a medalist from last year's World Championships. Um, I'm really intrigued to see what Jack Carlin can do. Definitely in very good form, which we saw in the team sprint. New national record for the British guys yesterday. Uh, and obviously Harry Levraisen as well, world champion yesterday in the team sprint. So clearly in good form. But as we said, the crowd favourite is a Wang. So let's see what he can do. Bit of a line escapes as uh, and here coming up and over the top with oh a little bit of cheekiness here from a Wang. There we are, just uh, saying, you want a piece of this? You want a piece of me? Well, you're going to have to work for it. And he did so. Apologia is that sits in front. Here comes Levation, high and wide and handsome, above the blue line, dragging in as well uh, uh, as part of the fun. Jack Carlin, who changes pace. Jack Carlin going backwards right now as uh, Wakimoto sits on the back wheel of Harry Levation. Here's Awang as well in third place. It looks to be between these three, unless Jack Carlin can get back on in level terms. It doesn't look like it. Levation has got the power. And is it now? Can he hold it as the rest charge into him? He does. The Brazen world champion, Wakimoto silver medal. Engwang picks up a bronze. Jack Carlin finishing uh, in fourth place ahead of Bottiger. And uh, indeed, Kazakhstan Ponomarev. Ah, oh, he loved that. That was a display of power carrying the form from yesterday. That was a fantastic win there by Lovraisen from Netherlands, especially after the disappointment of seeing his teammate crash in the previous round and two of them missing out on the final when we, we thought we could have perhaps seen three Dutch riders here. But he, he rode that well and he held everyone else off. And Wang was coming fast around the outside, as, as was Wakimoto, but um, bronze medal for Wang, silver for Wakimoto of Japan and gold medal and rainbow jersey to go to that guy. That was well won. Um, we said it was a difficult one to call, but Harry Levraisen had no doubt there, did he? Well, three pulled away. Jack Carlin just disengaged with the power of Levraisen and followed in by Wakimoto. Didn't make it easy for anybody out there. <laughs> Sorry, uh, Awang, I should say. Um, was, uh, there was a bit of cheekiness about him when Stefan Bottiger came through. But in the end, the game was played beautifully by the Netherlands. And here is our world champion. You know, um, <laughs> being follically challenged as I am, um, I asked one of the uh, the Netherlands for a uh, team for one of their <laughs> one of their hats, and I wore it with pride. 
I must admit, for about 10 minutes when somebody asked me what I was selling. Oh. <laughs> I don't know. But anyway, trilbies, you have to have a certain style. Uh, they don't suit me. But anyway, there we go. Uh, this man is going to look good in rainbow stripes in every queue, and he takes part in, in this uh, next next season. Not the Olympics, of course. Yeah, well, next um, year and a half, yes. because next year World Championships are going to be held in October rather than uh, February, exactly. March sort of time. So, yeah, now, now is a good time to win a world title. You're going it to certainly keep is. that a little bit longer. I'm not sure whether I agree with what they've done with uh, moving the track system to a butt against the road. Um, I think it's a shame, really, that we're uh, we're losing the chance to see some of the great road stars on the track. But uh, anyway, that's the decision by the UCI. We'll to stick with it and see how it goes. Congratulations, Harry. Good job. Harry Levrason is a world champion, beating uh, Wakimoto and A Wang. How international does that top six look? Very international. 